Hello guys, you are welcome again to another After Effects tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can create a smooth brush style logo animation in Adobe After Effects like this. So support me on this one, hit the like on the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, do not forget to turn on the notification, then come back, let's get started. I am starting with a new composition and a solid layer that I added a color light gray. Feel free to set your composition resolution setting and then make the duration 4 seconds. So now let's import the logo. Drag and drop your logo into the project manager window. Then make sure the import setting is set to composition and then hit OK. You see that a folder has been added to your project manager window. Then expand that, select all the three layers. Drag and drop it into your timeline above the new solid layer. You will have this. Usually this is just supposed to be the shadow. So if you have this problem, in case all you need to do is to select that layer and change the mode to multiply. And that will fix the problem. By the way, I got this logo from freepick.com. They have amazing designs there. You can check them out. Pick the pen tool, select your logo icon layer, which is this red S right here. Pull in a bit and draw a path in between the lines like this. Then add a stroke effect. We're going to switch this panel to FX and control because we need to make some changes to the stroke effect. First, increase the brush size until you have everything covered. You can pull in to make some adjustments to the stroke part. Change paint style to reveal original. Move your time indicator to about 20 frames forward in time and set a keyframe for the end property and then change the values to zero. Then move your time indicator to about two seconds forward in time and then set the end value to 100. Hit you on your keyboard to reveal your keyframes. Select all your keyframes. Right click on it. Go to keyframe assistant and then select easy ease. You can also hit F9 on your keyboard to do this. Select this last keyframe. Switch to the graph editor and pull in the graph like this. If you preview now, this is what you have. Beautiful. So I'm going to add another effect to this layer. I'm going to add the fill effect. I'm going to duplicate this layer two more times. Control D on your keyboard to do that duplicate. I'll also offset this on the timeline by four frames away from each other. I'll change the fill color for the middle color to somewhat black. And I'll change the bottom one to yellow. Feel free to choose your own color to match your own brand. I'll leave the top one to red. I'm going to select the text layer. Then pick the rectangular tool. And mask each letter like this. I'll duplicate it several times and make sure each of the mask covers each letter for the logo. After I've done that, I also move all the anchor point to the individual text to make sure each of them have its own actor point at the center. Also rename each layer to keep everything organized. Pen tool. Make sure no layer is selected on your timeline. Then set the fill to none and set a stroke color. I'm going to set this to red. You can change this letter. So you draw a random shape like this. After you draw, you can also feel free to adjust the random shapes. Adjust it until it looks like it wants to connect with the S font right here. Expand your stroke properties. 
and adjust the taper settings. Make sure you adjust it until you have a slim and tiny tip like this. You just need to adjust the start length and the end length. Now the next thing you need to do now is to animate it with a trim part. If you do not know how to do that, I already have a tutorial on how to use the trim part to animate a stroke layer like this. You can check it out on the card above. After animating the trim part option, what I did was to duplicate the stroke layer. As you can see right here, it has three colors. I duplicated the stroke layer and I've set them a bit and changed the colors and then pre-composed it. And it gave me this as if the stroke flew into the S and wrote it. For the rest of the logo, for the text part, what I did was to still draw a random shape, animate it using the trim part, set my color, and then animate the text bouncing out. If you don't know how to animate a bouncing text, I have a tutorial where I explain how to animate a bouncing object in Adobe After Effects. You can check that on the card above. I also use the stroke animation on the letter M and N to reveal it as if it is writing separately so that I can have a random animation on the text instead of having it all bouncing in. I then animated the shadow right here fading in using the opacity. I also added a null object from which I parented all the elements and my timeline to that null object and animate the scale. So that is it guys. This is how you can animate a smooth brush style logo animation in Adobe After Effects. If you learn something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership. Whatever way you want to support me with, even if you share the video, that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.